Hello and good afternoon. My name is Debbie Horovich and I am so thrilled that you're here joining me today for this special presentation. This is all about repurposing your best performing content into Amazon best-selling books in any format that you desire, in ebooks, print books, audiobooks, they do especially well. And the reason why you want to do this is for Google SEO, so that when people search Google for the specific keywords that you're trying to index against, they see your name and your content come up on Amazon as the author of the best-selling book about that specific subject. Can you imagine the social proof and the influence that that will have on your career and on your business? This also is great for product creation from the content that you already have and also for lead generation and nurturing. <coughs> so let's get dive right in today. So, today the idea is about letting go of everything that's happened in your past and coming to the place where you can imagine with an open heart and an open mind, a place where you're sitting in the very, very near future where you know what you're going to be publishing as an author. You have your book contract in hand and you can have your book published in your vision so that you can confidently begin your promotions knowing exactly what steps to take to develop your book launch events for publicity, sponsorship, sales, and speaking engagements. Now, being a, being a book author, being a published and best-selling book author certainly is one of the most accomplished and most desired personal accomplishments that anyone any human being has had throughout history. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, one of the dream job titles is really, when you consider it, to be the President of the United States or the President or Prime Minister of your own country, um, to be an astronaut, to be a pro sports athlete or an announcer, um, or to be a best selling book author. It's one of the most respected positions that you can achieve and accomplish in your life. The most fascinating people, of course, are the people who write books. Um, books have been written by storytellers for thousands of years, and publishing as an industry was focused um, on printing and distribution of books, beginning with the Gutenberg Press, really, 600 years ago. Um, and some of the most famous and important books have been written by first-time authors, or the books themselves are multi author anthology books. Um, some examples you might have heard of these books, Chicken Soup for the Soul by Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield. It was rejected by more than a hundred publishers at the start before they became published, um, but the one publisher who did take them on, of course now the books have gone on to become one of the most multi million selling copies, books of any published book ever. Uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul books are around the world in multiple languages. Um, the Bible, of course, um, is something that is around the world and throughout history of humankind on the face of the earth. It is an anthology storybook. Every chapter is a book written by a different individual telling their story of their interactions with God. And the, the Bible itself was compiled over 1,600 years, over people who lived over periods of 1,600 years. And then, of course, Harry Potter. Um, J.K. Rowling was a first-time author um, coming out with that book. And we all know that after years and years of diminished novelty for books, Oprah's Book Club began 
Um, it began around 1996 and it really revived the interest in, and it started to become uh, the way to make a book launch, to make a book well known, to make a book author um, a household name. Um, librarians have, have been connected to Oprah's book club since its inception and so um, publishers of the titles that are chosen by Oprah's book club um, they've sent more than 10,000 copies each to selected um, high schools and institutional members of the American Library Association um, and and of course we all know that um, if you can get on Oprah or any of her media channels, uh, whatever it is that you're selling has a far, far greater chance of experiencing um, stratospheric growth um, very fast and, um, and really becoming a perennial bestseller and well-known immediately. Now the big change that's happened is that Amazon in the last 15 years came about and um, really changed what the publishing industry is. It used to be because of publishing, because we were publishing print books, that the industry was about printing and distribution of those books. Those were the challenges that publishers helped overcome for authors, publishing and printing uh, printing and distribution. That's what publishers did. Printing and distribution. It's still what publishers do, except that they have access to the same channels that we all have access to, like Amazon, that allows us to simply upload a book file, the interior content, and upload the cover, and boom, you are published. And so now it's democratized. Anyone can publish a book, anyone can become a book author and it's up to you exactly what you make of it. So self-published books are at least as common as traditionally published books now. Um, because traditionally published books take you know often more than a year and a half to two years or three years um, from the time that you're pitching the book and it becomes accepted by a traditional publisher to the time when your book is actually on shelves um, and you're beginning to promote it. Um, Amazon really changed all of that. So suddenly becoming a published um, book author is not limited to um, the most educated and the most experienced writers. It's not limited only to established celebrities. Um, anyone now, business owners, professionals, niche experts, artists, students and children and retirees have joined those who want to become published authors with their business guidebooks their memoirs, their journals and planners, their cookbooks, their how-to and lifestyle guides, their coloring books, their children's books, and anthologies. And of course, they changed the publishing industry. All of these people coming into publishing at once and realizing that they're in control of what they make their book, what they want their book to be, and what they make their book to be. Um, that has changed everything. It's made Amazon the powerhouse that it is, and it's changed the opportunity for everybody on the face of the earth. Now, becoming a published author is truly, truly a simple process. It's very, very easy. You just have to collect your content into either MP3 format or Word and then doc file, um, and then have your, your book cover designed in the proper format for ebook, print, or audiobook. Also, you want to format the interior content um, in the proper files for ebooks or for uh, print books or for audiobooks. And then you upload that file to Amazon through Kindle Direct Publishing, which is the self publishing platform that Amazon makes available to everybody on the face of the earth. Right? All you have to do is set up your own publishing account and you can begin publishing documents of any size and multiple formats to Amazon for sale, right? There's lots of restrictions and rules and you have to know what you're doing in order for it to be um, 
a, a book that gets taken seriously in order for it to be a book that actually develops revenue, actually gets uh, respect for you as the author. Um, but this is how simple and easy it is to become publishing and how much Amazon has changed things. So steps two and three could be time consuming and challenging if you want to do it alone. Um, but step three really is it's relatively simple to start and it's what gets you published. And from there, you have the option, every opportunity that is available to anybody else is available to you to decide if you're ready to invest in that, um, to support making your book and, and also to sacrifice <laughs> so that you can have the result of making your book um, be what it is that you want it to be in your life. Um, and don't forget, most well-known books didn't become well-known until many, many years after first publishing. And all first edition books, even the famous ones, have typos. So you do want to go into this process with the expectation that you will eventually, probably sooner than you expect, um, will you're going to want to republish updated and or expanded editions in the future. Now, some examples. Um, I'm doing some work currently with Dr. Deb Lees. Um, she's an orthopedic surgeon who is in Australia. And what we're doing together is we're working to create an anthology book that is um, a book that is intended to support female surgeons and young women who are considering going down the path of becoming a surgeon, um, which is typically a very male-dominated career um, and has very special and unique challenges for women in it, probably unique opportunities as well. And this book, The Dragon Slayers Club, is intended to help inspire women to challenge the limitations that she has in her mind um, while facing discrimination, prejudice, and gender inequality, um, going after that title and career of being a surgeon. And um, it, you know, even as a surgeon, it's it's always interesting to see how people are able to experience the impact of announcing that they're becoming a book author. Um, when their full-time job is something completely different than writing a book for consumers, writing a book for, for regular people. It's not uncommon for doctors and for surgeons to be, to be published, to be published writers, but generally they're writing research, they're writing, um, they're writing and publishing medical research and results and um, medical uh, articles for medical journals so that other surgeons can learn for them. They're generally not writing for a consumer audience, which is what the Dragon Slayers Club is intended to be. Um, and, and it's really, it's other female surgeons sharing stories, um, their own personal stories of their experiences being a female surgeon and, and um, becoming a female surgeon. And when she shared the book cover that we had made in advance, she very quickly got over 200 likes and nearly 100 comments um, with a, uh, nearly a dozen shares from people who are, have, have no um, business involvement in the book itself at that point. This is just her friends and family and community supporting her and recognizing and helping to share the news that she is becoming a, a published book author and that's part of what she's working on in her life. So even announcing it to social media is one of the things that helps spark interest and sparks fashion, fascination and joy in people um, in your communities. And the results of becoming a best-selling book author, the results of having that title is that you have more confidence in yourself. You have more um, opportunities to show off what it is that's most important to you, what that message means, what the cause is that you're supporting. 
Um, and it becomes easier when you have the best-selling book author title um, to have more successful book signing events, to have more publicity and exposure, to feel, <clears throat> excuse me, to feel an in increase in your influential, um, the speaking invitations that you're receiving. And you never know what future business opportunities will come to you. So just having more confidence in yourself and in your business and, and more ideas for future books um, is always something that's, that's exciting and gives a boost. Um, certainly becoming a published book author and definitely a best-selling book author does give a boost and an increase to your influence. Um, as you can see here with Henry Balsani and um, um, Tracy Battle, who are two of the co-authors from the Silver Lining Storybook, as well as um, in the photographs on the right, you can see from our launch party, the Silver Lining Storybook, which was in Toronto in 2016. Um, we had a number of co-authors fly in from around North America. And Henry has been, was very active following the publishing of that book, um, as well as Kathy Jalali, who was in volume two of Silver Lining Storybook. She took the chapter from Silver Lining Storybook, which I encouraged her to do, and added additional pages, creating another book. It was a Silver Lining Storybook um, project, but she called her own book Happy Cinnamon. And it's a, a lifestyle guidebook um, that included her chapter. It also included re nutritious recipes, yoga exercises, and guided journaling pages. And it was to support Project Turquoise, which is a charity close to her heart. And she had a book launch event in her home uh, where she had more than 100 people, friends and family attending. And her books, she had over a hundred books, a, box, a couple of boxes of books um, available for people to purchase, and they sold out in 30 minutes. I was there for the event, so it was, it was lovely to see people were buying five and 10 copies of her book in order to support her, in order to be able to give away copies as gifts. Um, and because they were so, they wanted to be so supportive of both her and um, her book and of the of the um, charity benefactor that she had selected and when we sent out a press release for Kathy um, talking about the success of her book launch party and mentioning that the Institute for Integrative Nutrition was the the school where she had received her her certification um, two weeks after we sent out this press release it triggered the Institute for Integrative Nutrition in their e-newsletter for them to support and mention Kathy's book on Amazon and to link to it. Um, and their newsletter goes out to 500,000 people in that email list. Um, so it was pretty influential and pretty big for her. Um, they sent her a quick note, an email um, after after mentioning her in the newsletter and thanking her and congratulating her on her book. So sending out press releases, talking about where you're getting your education and sharing the insights that you've learned and what is most important for you to be sharing with your, your ideal clients um, is all great content for an anthology book. Um, and can really help you springboard into a book of your own like Kathy did with, with her book, Happy Cinnamon, um, which is also her brand. And then I also have um, two grandmas with a purpose. These are two really busy sisters um, in their 70s who are both, they're super active and super busy. Um, they're always going off to different events and going out for dinner and they sit on boards of um, uh, hospitals and arts foundations and they are super loving and sharing, always sharing photographs of their family who's visiting them or they're visiting. Um, and, uh, and it's really lovely to be working with them. I have to say it, it reminds me of when I was quite a bit younger and, and able to live um, and spend time with my own grandmother in her 70s. 
So these two sisters, Susan and Nancy, together they wrote a novel, a romance novel, about three friends from law school who reunite every September. And eventually these three friends find themselves in a love triangle. And it's a super fun book to read, um, especially when you're traveling, which is what I did. I was traveling um, to South Africa and through Europe. Um, and in a number of airports and reading this book about these three friends who are traveling all the time too and it was a lot of fun um, to experience in that way but most importantly what Susan and Nancy are doing is they're using the proceeds from this book to support the Robert Packard Center for ALS Research at John Hopkins um, and this is really important for them this is in memory of their father and they're working to create partnerships with the other organizations to help generate awareness and support for medical research. Um, and they've coined the hashtag read a romance for research. So all of the promotion and all of the work that they do to earn money for their novel September somewhere, and they may be coming out as well with a, a, a second, um, a sequel to the book. Um, all of that work that they're doing is really for the opportunity for them to, you know, share a fun experience that they had together of writing this book, um, but really to support research and awareness um, and fundraising for, for their charity benefactor of choice. Um, and I think you can start to see what the, the, the key is with my clients, that they're very um, focused on contribution and giving back in their lives. Um, and Susan and Nancy were really nice to um, give me a little bit of a testimonial letter. Um, but what they really, what, what I wanted to share, the reason why I wanted to share this was because I really wanted to point out um, that what they appreciate the most, what I wanted them to appreciate the most about my service and about working with me, was that um, I really take the time to work with my signature clients um, to ensure that we are publishing your book with your best interest and your vision um, first and foremost uh, as the priority. Um, and so Really, we consider and we have the opportunity to consider every single opportunity um, and it does take time. Um, it is a lot of work, um, but I hope and my, my desire is to make it as pleasant and as easy and as enjoyable as becoming a best-selling book author should really be. Um, and I think that I succeeded doing that for my clients because they're all very excited, especially when they do become a best-selling book author, um, which I recently counted and it looks like 39 different authors that have become bestsellers um, through my publishing company in the last three and a half years. So that's very exciting to me. Um, so Fairy Godmother Publishing, really, it gives you the exact publishing contract that you're looking for with every detail exactly as you want. Um, we publish your book in your exact vision, giving you complete control of your book prices and receiving your earned royalties directly. And we launch the promotions of your book for you so that we make your book a best-selling book. And that gives you a great launch pad, a great starting point for you to be able to promote your book um, ongoing for the rest of your life. Now the problem is that these days traditional publishers really only want to work with experienced authors. Those who have already, they've already developed their platforms where they actively are promoting and selling their message and their content successfully. Um, and almost everyone shares the secret dream of becoming a published author and now Amazon's made it available, they've made it possible for anyone with a book written to be, and completed to become a published author. And the truth is, even most authors who do complete the task of writing their book, they launch it with no idea how to promote it, how to get publicity, how to generate sales and readers, how to inspire Amazon reviews, or especially, of course, how to make it a bestseller. So, 
most self-published authors rush through the pre-publishing production process, sacrificing their book vision, approving lower cost elements with lowered standards, and completely forgetting that people judge a book by its cover, literally. And even if you can get a traditional publishing contract, the likelihood is it's not going to be everything that you hoped. And it is very rare for any published book author to make a decent living from royalties. And it's really only the authors who are working with a fairy godmother to help them who can say, I don't have to worry or stress about my book. Everything from writing the content in a way that represents me well to publishing details and ensuring my book is available in all the most relevant retail outlets to exploring the lifetime value and opportunity of my book with the help of my fairy godmother, there isn't a thing we can't create. My name is Debbie Horovich, and what I do is I provide people and book authors with a reliable process to publish your book in your vision and create the results that matter the most to you. What you want is a bucket list life accomplishment. You want friends and family to read your story in your book. You want your children and your employees to admire you. And you want your book to become a tool that helps you create a platform that you can leverage for the rest of your life and beyond. Now the people that I work with, they really value and prioritize contribution and philanthropy through their lives. They have this mindset of personally stewarding the life and the quality of their book and its potential on their in, on their uh, its potential impact on their audience. And these people are already living or they've lived an accomplished life and now they're ready for the next stage. The two things that you need for success are desire and confidence to promote your book and your story to everyone every day before and after publishing and two you need to have the willingness to recruit supporters and sponsors and to pay experienced professionals to help ensure that the book you wrote lives up to everybody's highest expectations of you now i'm also going to share with you today the secret truth about traditional book publishing contracts that makes many authors sorely regret their choice of publisher. The best and fastest way to get a traditional publishing contract that empowers you and supports you to be your imagined author self. How to ensure that your book story and your content, your IP, is protected beyond your life to maximize your opportunity and your book's potential and my surprising method to becoming a published best-selling book author, even if you don't have time, money, ideas, or patience to write the whole thing yourself. So, if you're ready to move forward on your book publishing journey today, but you're overwhelmed by your options, and you just need to know the next best steps for you to take, then you're definitely in the right place today. The three categories of authors that I work with are fiction authors who are ready to finally become published to accomplish this bucket list item, and they want a fairy godmother to produce their book in an uncompromising style and to make it as easy as possible for them. I also work with nonfiction authors who are experts, coaches, and influencers who really just need a professional to correctly publish their book and to promote it for them right now. And finally, I work with authors who are already published, but they haven't been able to promote their book skillfully enough to achieve bestseller status, and they're still dissatisfied with the results that they've created on their own. I'm sure you've noticed that most published authors fall into one of two types. One is the best-selling book authors who get to cruise along easy street for publicity, for speaking, for sponsors, for supporters, and for everything else. Everything's easy for them. And number two, authors who are riding the struggle bus. Their book is performing so poorly in every way possible, they feel they wasted time and money just writing it, getting it published, and now they can't recover. They're just throwing good money after bad. 
So what is it that allows some published book authors to be successful and influential while others generate almost no awareness for their book at all, making them feel embarrassed to show it to anyone? After talking to thousands of published book authors and professionals working in media publishing myself and producing for over 25 years, I've realized that the easy street authors have two personal characteristics present, while the struggle bus authors usually have neither. And the truth is that if you have both of these things present in your life as an author, it becomes very simple and predictable to have the success and exposure for your book and your message that you desire. Now I want you to pause for a moment and let this next point really sink in because it's the exact opposite of what everybody else out there is feeding you. What most authors who are looking for a book publisher don't know, what it really means to have a traditional publishing contract. Now these days in book publishing and authority generation, what's going on is that we're repeating the history of this publisher obsession where everybody still believes only the authors who have been selected by a traditional publisher can take the time needed to create a quality book promoting both their book and their publisher's support from the day that their book publishing contract is signed. But <laughs> most publishers don't promote your book at all. And most self-publishing courses don't show you how to do anything other than the basics, repeating all the exact same free how-to instructions shared on Google. They all present your book value as cresting immediately after publishing, not before or after or long into the future, while they own the ongoing royalties of your book and all of your book files. In reality, all they're doing is taking ownership and control of your book for their ongoing business financial benefit without offering any meaningful promotional support to their authors. They are selling authors on unfair publishing contracts because authors believe they are still the only easy way to get published and the only way to publish a quality book and the only way to access retail distribution, all of which is no longer true. Now, remember how I told you the authors who are cruising Easy Street have two things in their lives that the authors writing the struggle bus don't? Because it comes down to this. If you won't or can't socialize and promote the sales of your book like you are an impassioned author on a mission to change lives with your entertaining stories and your real life insight, no one's going to care about your book. The bottom line is you have to show them why they should care. Now let's get down to business. I'm going to show you exactly how you can get the publishing contract you desire from a reliable and experienced publisher who will ensure that your book is published in your vision and promoted to become a bestseller. There's only two things that matter to a traditional book publisher considering publishing your book. Your already developed audience, your email list, and your platform size, and your demonstrated ability and enthusiasm to promote your book yourself, creating the base of awareness and promotion, proving what kind of an author and really what kind of an entrepreneur and sales pro you really are. And the contract advance amount that these traditional publishers offer you, or none, is the true reflection of the proof that you've developed and demonstrated them. So telling them or making them promises will not help prove your abilities as an author, right? Keep that in mind as we move forward. Even if you already have a platform and you can get a book publisher for your book, many authors are disappointed by the realities of their publishing contract details. Traditional publishers contract to own the rights to your book, meaning that they have the final say in every single element of your book, including the schedule of deadlines for your writing and editing, as well as your production, publishing, and promotions work, the cover design and artwork licensing, meaning that you would need their permission to use the artwork, the licensed image, in your own marketing, unless it was the cover of your book, 
the formats your book will be published in and the retail channels where your book is on shelves for sale. And finally, they control all of the finances of your book, including retail pricing and sales promotions, and of course, the investments for every single element of production, meaning they choose how much money gets spent for your book on every single element. They choose the budget. They choose how much money is getting spent. And the truth is, they're choosing how much of your money to spend. What happens is they receive your sales royalties from retailers directly, use that money to pay themselves for your costs that they chose to incur first. And then after all of your production costs have been paid, both internally and externally, which can very often take years before you, you get to that point. And of course, after your advance has been paid off yourself, because you do have to pay back your advance, you will begin to enjoy a five to 12% um, royalties check of your book, from your book. Now you might think I'm all about self-publishing, but the truth is that for most unpublished authors, Self-publishing is the fastest, most direct, and most in-control path to get a traditional publishing contract. So if you think about Fifty Shades of Grey author E.L. James, uh, she originally published online as Twilight Fan Fiction before she decided to publish it as an ebook and print on demand in 2011. So the publishing rights were acquired by Vintage Books in March 2012 and four more books in a movie, all not especially appreciated by critics, have been published um, to great audience success and appreciation. <laughs> um, many people love those books. Uh, Minnesota social worker Amanda Hawking uploaded several books in 2010 and sold a few dozen copies. She published several more manuscripts and within a few months she was making enough money to quit her daytime job. Later that year, she won a deal with Macmillan Publishers and went on to become a millionaire in a year. She sold her series to St. Martin's Press in 2011 for $2 million. Additionally, all three books in her previously published uh, trilogy were also sold to St. Martin's Press and have been re-released from January through April 2012. Another success story. Um, the science fiction novel The Martian by Andy Weir was originally released as chapters on his personal blog and then self published as an ebook in 2011. The rights were purchased by Crown Publishing, which re released in 2014, and the novel went on to become a bestseller and then a major motion picture starring Matt Damon. I love that movie, it was so good. <laughs> Um, you might recognize my friend here, entrepreneur and business author Mike Michalowicz. He returned to self-publishing for his third book, Profit First, uh, after it was initially rejected by publishers. Um, his publisher, Penguin, turned him down on, on Profit First because it was too niche for them. Um, so what Mike did was he created a community of professionals promoting his book um, and his system to their clients. And after two years of promotion and growth of his book, his previous traditional publisher, Penguin, came back to him with an offer to publish, uh, a revised and expanded edition, which was published globally in February of 2017. So it took three years um, for his self-published book to be picked up by a traditional publisher. And this was even a publisher that he already had a relationship with, and it took three years. Um, so don't worry about how long it takes. Just focus on the results that you want to create and the people that you want to help. Um, so, you know, while he was very thrilled um, that they saw the proof in what he believed his book could do, and ultimately he did sign a contract with them, uh, he did also have to revise the cover of the book Profit First to something that they felt was a lot better. Um, and here is the new Profit First cover, which um, I suppose it works. <laughs> I prefer the previous book, <laughs> previous cover design. Um, and then here, Alan um, Sepinwall was uh, self-published. He, he self-published his book, The 
revolution was televised. It became an instant hit, winning a prominent review with, uh, uh, within two weeks of publication by the New York Times. Um, he, he hired an editor and spent r roughly $2,500 on services to get his book ready for production. Um, and, you know, it was not, not a humongous investment for him. I'm sure it was um, effort, as it is for everybody, though. Um, and then there's this Swedish author, um, Carl Johan Forsen Irvin. I may have actually butchered his name. Uh, he wrote a book which helped children go to sleep. Uh, his book, The Rabbit Who Wants to Fall Asleep, title featured uh, uh, featured amateurish amateurish illustrations with clunky prose and mon and a monotonous story time storyline but parents bought it for the catchy subtitle of a new way of getting children to sleep he released it on create space and it became a bestseller now create space is no longer available it's um, been shut down by Amazon who owned create space um, and put into Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP. So CreateSpace does still exist, just not the brand. Now the pub problem that most authors face when it comes to self-publishing is that they don't have the knowledge, the tools, the connections, or the experience to access all of the options available for their book at the time when they're working on it. It's really common for authors to hire the wrong editor, the wrong cover designer, the wrong coach, and to lose valuable time in the process. And there's so much to consider and so much that has to be worked on. You think about the writing process or if you want to get a ghostwriter and what it's like to work with them. You want to get your book edited and proofread. And what does it really mean to have your book edited? Because there's a lot of different types of editing. Um, that if you hire the wrong person, it doesn't really matter how much you paid them, you're not going to be happy with the results. Um, you need to have your book formats created, you need to have your cover design designed and to purchase the license for the images. Um, you need the interior book formatted and la laid out, you need a book promotion website, you need to have your retail channels and distribution and all of your availability um, set up and, and available for you and your book. Uh, you want to have an ARC team ready to go so that they will help review your book when it first comes out. You want to plan a book launch event, you want to plan a blog, publicity tour, and marketing and promotions of course ongoing for the rest of your life once you're published. Now thankfully of course there are fairy godmother publishers like myself who are willing to work with authors on their own terms with a publishing contract detailed to their personal benefit. And if you desire to become, your desire to become a published best-selling author outpaces your current ability to invest your time and money to get help with writing, producing, publishing, and promoting your entire book all by yourself, you can always join an anthology or a multi-author book. Anthologies allow regular people to come together to create a collaborative book authoring experience. It is the cheapest, easiest, fastest, and least commitment of personal attention and energy way for people to become a best-selling book author. And it really is the most opportunity and impact for the least amount of sacrifice. Now, what does this system look like that I offer, the Fairy Godmother Book Publishing and Author Promotions? Well, we remove the risk of wrong publisher or the question that you might have in your mind, the worry, am I choosing the wrong person? There's so many options and most publishers honestly specialize in only one area and they offer hardly any of the other services that they don't offer, but they never really talk about that. And then everything that they do offer is created, it's per their abilities rather than your needs. Instead, what the results is, every option is slightly different, color, size, shape, and cost, and the reliability of the results are very often not what you're hoping for. 
Now, what we do is we take that confusing, those confusing elements and put them into three buckets. You've got pieces of production, pieces of setup, and pieces of sales and promotions. And Fairy Godmother Book Publishing brings those pieces together in an organized way. We do this by quality controlled production. So published books by Social Sparkle and Shine allow you to own 100% of every element of your book except for the publisher's ISBN. And you control all of the creative and investment decisions and you own all of the files. We also provide you with completely transparent setup so your distribution and sales channels are set up on your own username and password so you are eternally in control of pricing, distribution, promotions, etc. And you will receive 100% of, of your earned royalties from sales directly into your own bank account. Not from me, directly from the retailers. Um, Plus, you receive our bestseller guarantee, which is that upon publishing, a proven system of book publicity and sales promotions will push your book onto Amazon bestseller lists, which is 35, 39 authors since fall of 2015. Um, and this is really what sets Social Sparkle and Shine publishing apart from other publishing opportunities, other publishing houses, um, is this production of your book uh, to your vision where you control the costs, the completely transparent setup where you're in control of pricing is unheard of. Nobody does that that I know of other than me. <laughs> so uh, maybe other people do it but they charge a significant amount more than I do. Um, and then the bestseller guarantee uh, is pretty difficult to find. Um, it's not that easy to accomplish or to achieve and to be able to do it reliably um, is very, it took me a very, very long time to be able to have that capacity and to be able to share it with others. So um, I hope that, that you understand my, my excitement over being able to offer it to people um, and the value of it, really. Um, so instead of factory sort of a, a production line factory of publishing services and zero promotions um, where every author is treated the same and must fit into a box and really all we're trying to do is sell you more purpose purchases and services and make more money from you. Instead of that, we give authors what they really want, which is the publisher relationship that they desire where you have a book publishing contract that gives you a publishing professional who behaves like your partner in business, who's on your side in book publishing. And that's what people are looking for. Now this includes collaboration and additional help on all of your publishing and pre-publishing promotional activities as needed. Your guide, uh, you have me as your guide through your production and publishing activities with expert insights and tools to save you money, hassle, and effort while delivering on your book in your vision. And I will help you with securing the legal copyright and assigning a literary executor so that you have the um, security and insurance of the ongoing value of your IP um, being assigned. And then of course, ongoing marketing and promotions support is available to you for as long as you desire. The result of choosing the right publisher is that you will have your book finally published in your vision with a plan and support for promotions and leverage. And the best part, you will finally be able to tell your friends, family, and colleagues that your published book is a bestseller instead of having to continuously update them on your efforts to write or become published, which honestly most people never actually achieve. And you will finally have the confidence that you can explore and achieve anything you want in this life, having, exper having experienced an accomplishment that most people want, but never realize throughout their lives. This is really, it's like cracking the code. Writing, production, setup, promotions. Book publishing and self-publishing is a lot of small details. It is a lot of project management. 
Um, it is a lot of people management and delivery. Um, and you really need the right combination. You need to know the right steps so that you will have success. Um, someone like Henry Balzani, who participated in the Silver Lining Storybook, um, found that success. Um, he was always wanting to share his story. Uh, he had a long and winding story to become um, a natural health care professional, but he was a medical doctor first. Um, and uh, he was able to write his chapter extremely quickly because he always knew that he was going to share this story in a book. He just didn't know how and didn't necessarily have the opportunity. And we made that very easy for him to do uh, while he was also balancing at the same time the demands of changing his career. Um, the same thing with Jennifer Rose. Um, she was a recent graduate of the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and had no previous book authoring experience, but she personally really enjoyed the experience of participating um, and found it to be helpful to her to realize her personal growth, um, you know, by sharing her story, which also impressed her family and, of course, was, was very impactful um, to her 10-year-old son. Um, and she was able to get personalized copies of her book into a local retail store to further share her story and her message with prospective clients locally. Um, and then Lauren Jean, of course, did lots of great um, promotion for herself and for her book, for her chapter in the book. Um, she definitely wanted to author and book, but had no opportunities before that she could find. Um, and was a very active podcaster. So she was uh, able to leverage the podcasting that she was doing in the past into success with the Silver Lining Storybook, with contributing a chapter into a multi-author anthology book. And then, of course, most recently, my work with Rachel S. Lee. Uh, she is an affiliate marketing consultant, the affiliate marketing queen, I now refer to her. Um, this was this slide actually was put together a few months ago and uh, it's a little bit out of date. She's gone on now, um, not just only to win the Two Comma Club Award and to win uh, the Dream Car bonus, but um, ClickFunnels recently had their annual convention in Nashville. Uh, with more than 4,500, 4, I believe, people in attendance, more than 45 funnel hackers in attendance. And um, Rachel was up on stage to accept her new awards this year. Um, and when we sent out a press release for Rachel talking about affiliate marketing, the keyword that she really wants to be the highest um, indexed on Google on the first page results for, um, we found that many of the press releases when we were putting in various keywords, especially the Two Comma Club Award, um, for various pages, after six months, this press release was still showing up as the number one or in the top five um, of Google search result pages, which is great, powerful, and long-lasting SEO. Now, you might have, you. the truth is you absolutely have to have to have the right system in order to generate these kind of results. There are 10,000 different combinations and it is incredibly difficult to get it right. If you want it to become easy and to unlock, use a system like we have. Now, are you someone who wants a predictable system to confidently publish your book and to make it a bestseller? Becoming a best-selling published best-selling book author will generate for you the admiration of skeptical friends, family, and colleagues. You will have more confidence in yourself. You will be able to generate more high-value leads for your business. You will book more and better publicity exposure. You'll be able to book paid speaking engagements and, of course, attract more high-paying clients to your business. My dream client is 
like any one of these individuals on the page that, that on the screen that I've spoken about earlier in the in the presentation today and I I really want to ask you are you next are you the next person who's going to step over that that imaginary line that imaginary mountain that you place in front of yourself that is the difference between you're working on a book which most people are and you're a published best-selling book author for the rest of your life no matter what what you do for the rest of your life no one can ever take that title away from you when you want something that you can leverage that will make you stand out and that will give you more attractive character appeal when you're working to create your brand you could be my dream client I have three types of clients that I work with. The people who want to have their fiction novel published and promoted to become a bestseller with ease and joy, supported every single step of the way. People who want to have their nonfiction book published and promoted to bestseller with the least amount of money, effort, and time. And individuals who want their already published book to be republished with a new cover, better categories, etc., and then promoted to become a bestseller for them, finally. Here's how the process works. Now, this is for novelists who want to get their books into the hands of readers and participate in supporting important causes through their book sales and promotions activities. This is for people who have already invested months or years into writing their book, who know that they must publish their book eventually to fulfill their personal potential as a human being. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just need one second to sip some water. <sighs> this is also for coaches, consultants, and experts who are ready to begin exploring the benefits of having a book published as a tool for publicity, speaking, and business growth. And of course, for professionals who understand that like owning a business, they need to have some skin in the game and be committed to leading their book's own self-promoting activities and exploring opportunities for the rest of their lives. And of course, finally, this is for people who truly love helping others and value relationships above everything else. Who is this not for? This is not for people who think that publishing their book is the end of the accomplishment activities instead of the very beginning. People who are not ready to invest money and time to complete quality publishing and launch promotions for their book. People who don't want to learn how to improve their marketing skills and results. People who make excuses and complain. People who are stuck in information gathering mode and or are, who are just not prepared to take action and get results. And anyone who is not serious about getting their book published now. The better the fit, the better results. What I'm looking for is win-win relationships and win-win opportunities. Now this is a personal, custom-tailored, one-on-one strategy session with you and me. This is where we really begin to figure out what it is that what you want and how to make it happen for you the best way possible. Now this is, uh, time is a factor here and this window of opportunity will not be available for very long. So I do want you to uh, take a moment and apply to see if working with me might be something that will work for you today. <clears throat>